I think it's mainly the audience. Like, um, I mean, it could be in any setting with any kind of sound, and it's kind of the connection. It's like you know, there's there's some kind of magic sometimes when you go on stage and the audience kind of draw in and you've got them for the whole show. And I think that that kind of setting, whatever size venue or wherever it is, wherever it may be, um, I think they're the most important. It, it's the people that are in the audience. And the first CD I ever bought was um, For Your Love by Stevie Wonder. <laughs> and I bought it because um, it was a really, really sad video, like these kids on the rubble, and it was just, I don't know. I just remember that being the first tape I ever bought. This isn't a CD tape. And I began to pray. Um, it's really funny, actually. Um, I never really had a nickname as a kid, but I, I used to like, I used to do things like secretly to make people like try and give me a nickname. And uh, and, they, and they never picked up on it, you know. I did some funny things constantly trying to get picked up and have a name like, but I think the closest I got to it was Kaz, which really upset me. Um, if I could play another instrument, I think, I was going to say something funny, but I would like to play the lap steel. I think it's the most beautiful sound instrument in the world. The way it kind of wraps around me, just uh, I've never felt an instrument like that before. I'd, I'd love to learn how to play that. Um, what does music mean to me? Uh, oh, basically, like, I feel like music found me really because I didn't have a musical family and when I was at school like I got offered like these lessons to like channel my energies into stuff at school and so they give me this drum lesson um, and I went in and and the guy like said you know have you played drums before then and he's, he's like no he's like oh you're really good and like you know no one really told me I was good at anything so you go well, I took it and ran anyway and thought oh, I, could, I could maybe do something with this you know and I just bashed away for the rest of school really. I never went to any lessons again. They just let me go to music, like, because I was really focused. Um, the message I'd leave to the world as a legacy would be, um, always be kind when you can.